Sai Ram and welcome to this fresh episode of Bhajan Classroom from the Sri Satya Sai Media Center. Today we are going to learn a vintage bhajan, a beautiful composition on Lord Krishna. It's a very delightful tune. It used to be sung in the yester years in the Prashantinilaya Mandir and we are so happy that we discovered this bhajan and now able to relive the joy of singing this four line composition that Bhagwan himself used to hear in the 60s and 70s this is how the first line of the bhajan flows rum jhum nacho nand dular sairam to everyone we shall now go through the lyrics of this bhajan rum jhum nacho nand dular madhava murahara मदन गोपाल राधा मनोहर नटवर लाल गोविंद गिरिधर श्याम गोपाल गोविंद गिरिधर मुरली गोपाल नाउ दैट वी आर फेमिलियर विद द लिरिक्स लेट्स लर्न हाउ टू सिंग दिस भजन यू विल हियर द ट्यून sung very slowly without any musical accompaniments and as you listen please do sing along rum jhum na cho nand dular rum jhum na cho nand dular माधव मोर हर मदन गोपाल 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 वी कम बैक टू द फर्स्ट लाइन रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार राधा मनोहर nataverla radha manohara nataverla govinda giri dhar sham gopal गोविंद गिरिधर श्याम गोपाल गोविंद गिरिधर मुरली गोपाल गोविंद गिरिधर मुरली गोपाल रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार सो वी नो हाउ दिस भजन साउंड्स हाउ इट फ्लोस एंड फॉर दोस ऑफ अस हु लव द इंट्रिकेसीज ऑफ म्यूजिक वी वांट टू नो व्हाट आर द नोट्स वी वांट टू नो व्हाट इज द रागा द भजन इज एसोसिएटेड विद सो वी विल हैव अ लिटिल सेशन जस्ट टू गो लिटिल डीपर इनटू द म्यूजिकलिटी ऑफ दिस भजन एंड टू हेल्प अस इन दिस एंडेवर वी हैव ब्रदर अनिरुद्ध विद अस So Anirudh please tell us what are your thoughts on the composition of this bhajan Saram Vishu Saram this is a very sweet bhajan very simple uh, but the melody is so beautiful that uh, it captivates so uh, if you ask me the raga which is associated with this bhajan um, it is close to a hindustani raga called khamaj the notes are like this धनी दप मग 
ಗಪಧನೀದ ಪದ ಮಗ ಗಮಪಧನೀ ನಿಸ ನಿಸದನಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಶಂಕರಾಭರಣಂ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಿಲಾವಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಶುದ್ಧ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಶುದ್ಧರಿ ಶುದ್ಧ ಗ ಶುದ್ಧ ಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ನೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ನೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕೋಮಲ್ ನೀ 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 ಸ ನಿ ಸ ನಿ ಸದ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭಜನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಧವ ಮೋರ ಹರ ಮದನ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಲಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಲಿರಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಭಜನ್ um it it really helps you to connect with krishna madhav murahar madan gopal beautiful isn't it absolutely i mean as you hear ruma jhuma you know you imagine baby krishna and yes. then you are describing that krishna and you know your heart is going out uh, pleading with this uh, baby krishna because you are so enamored with his beauty his charm and his uh, magic <laughs> it is so charming that you're bound to smile when you sing yes <laughs> absolutely <laughs> if i i'm like i'm not sure whether you can sing this bhajan very seriously not absolutely. at all yeah, you cannot be sorrowful <laughs> and sing this bhajan <laughs> yeah you have to smile and sing and yes. for that this raga the melody uh, really helps and uplifts to get that connect um, to not just krishna baby krishna as you rightly said so similarly the fourth line ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಿರಿಧರ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಿರಿಧರ ಮುರಳಿ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ರುಮ ಝುಮ ನಾಚೋ ರುಮ ಝುಮ ನಾಚೋ ನಂದ ದುಲಾರ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದ ಪಕಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರಾಗ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ used as gamani da pa ni da pa it's so beautiful sagama padhani sani sadani da pa da ma ma gare ni sa guru seva bina ನಿರ್ವಾಣ ನಹಿ ಜಪ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಬಿನಾ ಸಂಯೋಗ ನಹಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಸೇಮ್ ದ ನೀ ನಿ ದರ್ಸ ಬಿನಾ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ನೀ ದ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭಜನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಗ್ಲೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೀ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಖಮಾಜ್ ರಾಗ್ and also i'm reminded of uh, one bhajan which swami sings om shri ram jay ram jay jay ram so the line sita ram sita ram sita ram again the glide to the knee radhe sham radhe sham radhe sham i'm reminded of uh, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa and he used to mention about this note ni while talking about nirvana wow and i think the ni has that power to uplift you and bhajans are the medium for us to reach that level of ecstasy and these beautiful compositions that bhagwan has given us if only we put ourselves completely into it invest ourselves completely into the bhajan yes there is no question that it will not uplift you absolutely and uh, when you think about it this is a bhajan which used to be sung in the yester years and we are really grateful to girijamma s girija bhai auntie who gave us this bhajan who brought it back from the 60s for us and and there cannot be a greater joy for all of us who love to 
listen bhajan sing bhajans and swim in bhajans to get a pearl from the yester years and um add to the ocean of sai bhajans and really grateful to her and swami for bringing back this beautiful gem from the earlier times absolutely i think we are very grateful to swami that this series has started and uh, more to come more old bhajans old melodies so request listeners to stay tuned and uh, look forward for the program yes so there is plenty coming and before we go into the meaning of this bhajan let's spend little more time and uh, understand the exact notes anirudh gave us the flavor of the raga but for those of us who love to play this bhajan in our instruments in different instruments uh, you would love to know the exact uh, swaras for this bhajan so let's take uh, line by line and we'll unravel the beauty of the music behind this bhajan रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार गप मप ग म ग रे स ग म नि ध प गप मप ग म ग रे स ग म नि ध प माधव मोर हर मदन गोपाल माधव मोर हर मदन गोपाल नी 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 स नी स द नी द प द नी 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 स नी स द द नी द प द नी गप मप ग म ग रे स ग म नि ध प गप मप ग म ग रे स ग म नि ध प राधा मनोहर नट वर लाल राधा मनोहर नट वर पद पप पप गरी गरी सा सा पद पप पप गरी गरी सा गोविंद गिरीधर श्याम गोपाल गोविंद गिरीधर श्याम गोपाल नी 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 स नी स द द नी द प द नी 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 स नी स द द नी द प द नी गोविंद गिरीधर मुरली गोपाल गोविंद गिरीधर मुरली गोपाल नी 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 स नी स द द नी द प नी 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 स नी स द द नी द प द बीट ऑफ दिस भजन इज एट बीट आदि तालम और कहरवा द काउंट इज वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर वन रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार माधव मोर हर मदन गोपाल माधव मोर हर मदन गोपाल रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार रुम झुम नाचो नंद दुलार so let's now come to the bhava aspect of this bhajan 
as we have been discussing this is a beautiful bhajan in hindi calling out to our beloved lord krishna to dance blissfully in our hearts let's begin with the first line of this bhajan rum jhum nacho nand dular ruma and jhuma are words that signify the sounds of the anklets that one wears while dancing nacho means to dance Nanda refers to King Nanda the foster father of Lord Krishna while Yashoda was the foster mother Though Lord Krishna was born in Mathura immediately after his birth his father Vasudeva took the baby and left him in Nanda and Yashoda's house and he grew up there The word dular means darling During a summer shower's discourse in 1974 Bhagwan said In Repalli Nanda was a well-known and rich zamindar a land owner The inhabitants of that village had great respect for Nanda and they would not disobey him at any cost in fact nanda and yashoda were treated by the villagers as if they were their very life breath people would light the lamps of their houses from nanda's home as they felt that would fill their homes with sacredness and goodness we know as a young boy lord krishna used to dance with the gopalas and gopikas there was the instance when he subdued the poisonous snake kalia and danced on its hood It was a spellbinding victory and all the playmates cheered and the villagers were in awe but no act of the divine is without deep significance during a discourse on May 10th 1969 bhagwan said that poisonous snake is nothing but our sensual desires and krishna rendered this snake harmless on january 14 2006 on shankranti day bhagwan elaborated on this and said Make the name and form of your chosen god dance upon the hood of your heart. Krishna had no attachment to sense objects, no vishaya vasana. That is why he could plunge into the pool, jump onto the hood of snake Kaliya, trample on it and squeeze the poison out of it. Save yourself only by calling on God, who is free from sense objects and who is on the bank. Hold his hand and he will pull you safe out of every trouble and keep you steady. on the hard ground thus in this line ruma jhuma nacho nanda dular we call out to blissful lord krishna the darling son of king nanda to dance in all our hearts and remove all the unpleasant feelings within us we move on to the next line madhav mura har madan gopal The word Madhava is one of the several names of a neutral Lord Krishna. It comes from Ma and Dhava. Ma refers to not only Mother Lakshmi, the goddess of all types of prosperity and wealth, but also Prakriti or nature. And in another context, it means illusion or Maya. So Madhava is one who is the master of all these. The name Murahara is derived from the word Mura, referring to the demon Mura, and Hara means to destroy. Mura here also represents the ignorance that covers us and makes us body conscious resulting in us forgetting our true divine nature since lord krishna demolishes this ignorance he is called murahara madana is a name of a new swar lord krishna and it means the one who enraptures our mind gopal is one of the most adorable names by which we call out to lord krishna lord krishna was brought up by his foster parents mother yashoda and father nanda and they belonged to the cowherd clan of vrindavan as he grew up like other boys of his age krishna too played the role of a cowherd boy and tended to the cows took them for grazing in the pastures and so on thus superficially the name gopala means the one who looked after the cows but gopal can be split into go which means not just cows it also means animal tendencies the tendencies within us which don't define us as humans so gopal also connotes the loving god who tends to us and subdues our negative qualities go also means beings or souls so govinda or gopala is one who tends to the souls who fosters the souls who takes the souls back to their source there's another fascinating explanation for gopala that bhagwan once explained in the interview room to his students some he said when a calf is born the mother cow literally licks off the placenta that is on the calf all by herself when a normal cow can remove so much dirt from its own calf how much dirt can the lord or gopala remove from you 
God is like an ocean of purity. Your small impurity will not affect God. Give your mind to me, Swami says. He is here to wipe us clean of everything that pollutes us. So that is the magnanimity of the Lord who will remove everything that blemishes us. And that is why he is Gopal. So in this line, Madhava, Murahara, Madana, Gopal, we call out to him who is the master of nature, who is the master of Mother Lakshmi, who destroys our ignorance and who lovingly removes all that which is not adding to our beautiful self. Let's move on to the third line. Radha Manohara Natavaralal Radha Manohara Natavaralal Radha was one of the greatest devotees of Lord Krishna. Bhagwan once said, in order to teach wisdom to the people at large, Krishna took Arjuna as an instrument. But through Radha, Krishna taught mankind the sacred aspects of devotion, of love for God. Who is Radha? What does she signify? During summer course series of discourses in 1978, Swami said, Radha in the bodily aspect was nine years older than Krishna. She was also a cousin sister of Nanda and thus was closely connected with Nanda. Ever since Krishna reached the home of Nanda and Yashoda, Radha's ideas began to take shape in the direction of wanting to move closer and closer to Krishna. At all times, Radha was thinking of Krishna and uttering the name of Krishna. Her daily routine was filled with thoughts of Krishna. Radha and Krishna was like the relationship between an object and its image. So perfect was her devotion and so devoid she was of worldly feelings that Radha came to be hailed as the very embodiment of unsullied love for God. Bhagwan further said, Radha does not refer only to a woman. Anyone who can surrender their actions and thoughts to Krishna becomes Radha. Radha teaches us to not believe in the transient and impermanent world, to not fear death and to not forget God. These three main injunctions of life have been taught to us by Radha. During the 60th birthday of Bhagwan, Swami himself directed the drama Radha Radha Bhakti and made his students enact the same during as part of the grand celebrations. Brother S. Kumar, who was then a student in the Sri Satisai University, was blessed to play the role of Radha in this drama. Swami himself chose him for this character. The students practiced for nearly three months or so before the drama was finally enacted on Bhagwan's birthday, November 23rd, 1985, in order to make the students get every aspect perfectly whether it was the dialogues or the songs or the body language, Bhagwan painstakingly guided each student for the entire period. He guided Brother Kumar too on how he should play the role of Radha and how he should sing the songs with feeling and carry himself in a dignified manner. How his voice should become soft. How he should be able to bring a lot of sweetness into his voice. This Brother S. Kumar would be in the college auditorium middle of the night and he would keep meditating on Radha. He would sit there contemplating on himself being Radha and trying to develop the same bhava or the feeling that had overtaken Radha. That is how he was able to enact his role to Bhagwan's satisfaction on the D-Day. Let us listen to Brother S. Kumar on what sadhana he did at that point in time and what were his learnings from that beautiful episode of his life. Scene by scene, he will cut down and say, Hey, the role of Radha is to be majestic, not to be cheap. He will check that too. Dignified. Very dignified. Do not think of the role of Radha as someone who is portrayed in all other movies and pictures in a very different way. She is such a devotee and that is where Swami gave the meaning of Radha in one of those dialogues. He said, Radha ki adharam dhara aradhan. He said, 
Take the word Radha, R-A-D-A. Radha, Arad, Dhara, Adhar. All are inside this, Swami said. So the basis of Radha is to pour tears of love for Krishna. That's what it means. That's all he defined. That's your role in the drama. You need to think of Krishna and the moment you think of Krishna, you should feel so happy. Tears of joy should come, not tears of sorrow. Oh. So whenever you chant the name Krishna, there should be happiness. You can always go back. This is a human form. So he, there's a song in this Niluva Nida, Leni Brataku, Ni Korakani Moyudana. Krishna, it'll come. So you know, the, you're a human part of it. Because there is a scene in this drama where Radha is separated from the whole village, where she cannot even see Krishna when he's visiting Repalai. Hmm. So that's a sad song. But when Swami said, the moment she says Krishna, the moment she becomes joyful. Oh. No one would have ever taught this kind of concepts. These are all concepts which are very, very powerful, which means and what? Actually, I think here, Radha is only a medium. Swami is teaching us how to be His devotees. Exactly. Every one of us is Radha. Swami says that there's only one Purushottama. Everybody is Prakriti. Everybody else is Prakriti. If we can be like that, the moment we listen to Swami, the moment we hear His name, we are always joy. So, Niluva nida leni brathuku ni korakani Moyudana Krishna Krishna It should be It should not Krishna It should not be like that Krishna Niluvani Again you oh. will go back to Because human being is made ups and downs He knows that But that is where he proved As to how Radha is an evolved soul Moving on The second word in this line is Manohara Meaning the one who enchants Radha Manohara refers to the lovely Lord who captured the mind and heart of Radha. Natavara means the best among dancers. Lal refers to baby. There is a dance form called Kathak, which is very, which is very famous in India. And the syllables that form the basis for the footwork in this form of dance, namely Ta, Te, Tat, Tat are said to have been produced when baby Krishna danced on the hood of serpent Kaliya. Once during the 90s in the month of October, Bhagwan was in Vrindavan. The convocation drama practice session was on and in the drama, there was a Burakatha. Now, Burakatha is a traditional folk art form where three boys would sing as well as narrate the story. So these three boys began with a Krishna bhajan while Bhagwan was swinging on the jhula watching their performance. The music was wonderful. It was suitably supported by the instrumental music too. But after some time, Bhagwan asked the boys to stop. He called the lead singer from the Burakatha team and he said, You are singing well, but you also need to dance because in Burakatha, one also needs to move their legs in rhythm. And do you know what happened next? Bhagwan asked the students to move aside and he himself lifted his robe slightly so that his feet were visible and said, See, this is how you should dance and he began to dance. Bhagwan asked the students to look at the beautiful footwork of God. What a sight to behold when the Lord himself was teaching the dance steps. In fact, Bhagwan once said, I alone know the agony of teaching you each step of the dance. What a confession by the divine dance master of the universe. Thus, in this line, Radha Manohara Natavara Lal, we hail the Lord who is the beloved of Radha, who enchants all our minds and hearts and who is indeed the best among all the dancers. Let's now move on to the next line. Govind Giri Dhar Shyam Gopal Govind Giri Dhar Shyam Gopal We have already discussed the meaning of Govinda. But another deeper meaning to add to whatever we have said is that Go also means Vedas. The Govinda also connotes the one who is reached by Vedic chanting the one who is the abode of the Vedas. 
Giri refers to the Govardhana mountain that Lord Krishna held aloft for seven days to protect the residents of Gokul Pundavan, and Dhara means the one who holds. In the Rama Avatar, during the building of the bridge to cross over Lanka, the monkeys in Lord Rama's army plucked mountains and leaped great distances to place these across the sea. A stage was reached when the bridge was completed, and so the monkeys placed the peaks they held in their hands down on the ground, since they were no longer required. At this point, one small hill shed profuse tears and lamented, Why was I removed from where I was and, and why am I refused now? I was overjoyed that the armies of Lord Rama could walk over me, but now I am neither here nor there. This news reached Lord Rama, and so overcome was Rama by compassion that he immediately sent word to that hill that he would use it in his next incarnation. The Lord never forgets a promise that he makes. In the Lord's next incarnation as Lord Krishna, he fulfilled the promise made to the hill. And that is how Lord Krishna held aloft with his little finger for one whole week the Govardhana mountain. Our Lord Sai is indeed the same Krishna come again. When he carried the mighty Govardhana mountain, is it any difficult for him to carry our burdens? Coming to the word Shama, one of the many adorable names of Lord Krishna, meaning the dark blue complexion Lord. Now why is the Lord described as blue in color? Bhagavan says that the Lord is the greatest mystery and the color blue is a symbol of the depth of that enigma. The sea and sky are blue because of their vast depth and innumerable mysteries. They represent infinity, they are fathomless. It is the same with the Lord, Lord Krishna was not born with blue-coloured skin. Swami says he is described so because he is as endless and as enigmatic as the sky, as the ocean. Another inner significance why the Lord is likened to having the complexion of dark rain-bearing clouds is that the Lord satisfies the deepest thirst of man for peace, the thirst of man for joy and wisdom. That is why he is Mekhas Shama. His dark blue as a rain cloud. The urge to drink inferior drinks that only feed the thirst disappears when once the sweetness of Krishna Nama and Krishna Bhava are tasted. Krishna draws the mind away from sensory desires. He pulls the mind towards Him, pulls the mind away from everything else. That is why in this line, Govinda, Giridhara, Shama, Gopal, we adore the Lord who lifts and uplifts us, who carries our burdens and who sublimates our minds. Let's now come to the last line. Govinda, Giridhara, Murali, Gopal The word Murali refers to the bamboo flute that Lord Krishna played on. In fact, this flute has become synonymous with the Lord, synonymous with Lord Krishna. Why does the Lord use the flute as his instrument? Bhagavan said, I would advise you to become the flute, for then the Lord will come to you, pick you up, put you on to his lips and breathe through you and out of the hollowness of your heart due to the utter absence of egoism that you have developed. He will create captivating music for all creation to enjoy. Be straight, Without any will of your own, merge your will in the will of God. Inhale only the breath of God. That is divine life. That is what I want you all to achieve. The Lord wants us to be straight, with no twists and turns, with no ego, like the flute. We know Bhagwan used to take his students and teach us to Kodekanal, the hill station in Tamil Nadu during the months of April and May. He used to grant darshan to devotees and also spend a lot of time with the students and interact with them. Once, during such a session there, before dinner, one of the young schoolboys who was part of the group requested Bhagwan to play the cymbals as they were singing the devotional songs. Bhagwan readily acceded to the request and took the cymbals and he started playing. It was indeed a beautiful sight and after the singing session, Bhagwan started talking and somehow the discussion moved on to Lord Krishna and Professor Anil Kumar who was there suddenly recollected the days in Vrindavan, Bhagwan's ashram in Whitefield and he said, Swami, how beautifully Bhagwan would often play the cymbals during the three sessions in Vrindavan. 
భగవాన్ హర్ దాట్ స్మైల్డ్ అండ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఇన్ ఎ విస్పర్ స్వామి సెడ్ ఈ బృందావనంలో ఐ యూస్ టు ప్లే తాళం అండ్ దెన్ పాయింటింగ్ ఇస్ ఇండెక్స్ ఫింగర్ హై ఇన్ ద ఎయిర్ యాజ్ ఇఫ్ టు ఇండికేట్ ఎ బైగాన్ ఈరా స్వామి సెడ్ ఆ బృందావనంలో ఐ యూస్ టు ప్లే ద ఫ్లూట్ భగవాన్ was so beautifully conveying that he is the same one who used to play the flute in Dwapar Yuga who is now playing the cymbals in this Kali Yuga. So in this line, Govinda Giridhar Murili Kopal, we call out to the Lord who urges us to become egoless and hollow so that his love flows through us and purifies us within and without. Contemplating on this beautiful flute meanings of this bhajan let us now sing this bhajan as it is sung in the prashanti mandir live session rum jhum naacho nand dhula rum jhum naacho nand dhula that brings us to the end of this episode of bhajan classroom from the sri satya sai media center and as we said earlier there are more such vintage bhajan classroom sessions coming so stay tuned to us and we hope you are enjoying this series if you have any questions or any comments or anything you want us to do better please feel free to write to us you can write to listener at sssmediacenter.org we look forward to listening from you thank you so much sir